The work can be exhausting, but each move has a purpose, each moment an opportunity to run toward the path of realizing potential. Up the line, up the line. Head turn, head turn. Now open up, open up. Just pick a side. Good, good, good. Lead with your hip. Lead with your hip. Brins, Brins, don't go at him and put the ball in front of him like that. Lead with your hip. Get back quick, quick. Got a head turn, got a head turn. Let's go, let's go. Head turn, head turn. Get back, good, good job, Mano. You know they're gonna throw it, so don't wait for them to throw it. Go load and anticipate it. Um, it can get loud in there, it gets very physical. Uh, just going against all the guys who are all very talented. We try to make our practices tougher than the game, so if we're able to just make our practices tougher and I'm able to excel in practice, it's gonna translate real well to the game. That's what you gotta do if you wanna become one of the best programs in the country. All right, guys, better intensity, better intensity. That's how it's gotta be every time. It's one swipe. If, if we're saying we're attacking, it's a swipe and get back to our man. It can't be a swipe and then try to figure out what the guy is gonna do. It's a swipe, and whatever he does, I'm getting back to my man. The attention to detail is probably the biggest difference, I would think, coming from high school to college. For me, anyway, in high school, I was just kind of getting through practice so we can get to the game. Um, and that would not fly at a Villanova practice. Um, you will get exposed, called out on, um, and it wouldn't be a great day for you if you were just trying to get through a practice. You got to anticipate. That's what anticipation is. I see my guys on the low side. I see my guys reading. I'm going to get there before he throws a pass. That's anticipation. If I see my guys on the low side, I see my guys reading, and I wait for him to throw the ball. That's not anticipation. That's reacting. Do we understand the difference? We want to anticipate, right? Go. The practice is like a game. That's how I kind of the approach that the coach and coaches take to uh, practice. You know, we, he, they push us all to be play harder than we would be playing in the game. If you pivot in the game and you go to make that pass and he hits you like he just did, he hits you and you're off balance, don't throw the pass in the game. Now here, stop and pivot again and get on balance. But in the game, you won't be able to do that. Do you understand that? We want to create certain habits, and we want to do that every single day, every single possession. Every drill matters. Every practice matters. It, ta it takes time to learn that. And when you have older guys that's, that's talking as if their coach is Colin Gillespie, Jermaine Samuels, instead of just going through the motions, OK, here's just this drill. We're just doing it just, no, no, no. We're doing it for a purpose. We, we're doing every drill so that it can translate into the games. And you slip and maybe get them on the move. Do you understand? But in this situation, we're, we're, we're up. Now you're going to kick it out. We're going to work on your catch and shoot game. Make sense? Every day in practice, we, we, we have core values that are consistent, you know, and, and the, the, the number one thing is attitude, is, is coming in there to start every day with a great attitude. There's purposeful challenges, and, and you have, have to practice as a player mentally, focusing, and, and then having a, a, a positive attitude and how you respond to getting beat in a drill, being coached in a drill, um, getting a bad break in a drill. Hey, hey, when you pivot, step, like, don't just step, step in a direction that pass, put something on it. We, we give points for everything you do, everything's competitive, and we give points to the opposing team if you don't have a positive attitude. Um, so. The, the attitude part is something we, we drill, actually, in practice. And then the effort, you know, we, we, the effort mentally has to be there, physically has to be there every day. Now, that, that was a good job. He can't go by you right now in a game. Let's see if you can do this. If you get a smaller guy on you, make it like a game. He gives it up, deny him. He got you on a back cut, it's on me. You got you? But, but, but you're going to do something that's going to help you in the game. You understand? Coach likes the term of us all being lifelong learners. So whether that's in practice or off the floor, there's always uh, room for us to learn something new, whether it's within the game of basketball or uh, how hard we should play or concepts on defense or offense. It's great because it taught me personally um, the approach you have to take to life. 
you have to learn from everything that you do. You have to learn and grow and not be afraid to make mistakes, but also be willing to learn from them. You're not out there thinking I want to be the leading rebounder on the floor. And you got to recognize, and you got to do that without just running into the hole, still tagging and warring. You got to practice that. You understand? You, Justin, and Slate, I'm going to tell each one of you that. In recruiting, we, we search for players that, that, want to rec that want to be coached, that, that want to improve, uh, that believe in themselves, have confidence in themselves, and want to be better. We are so grateful to have the guys we have because as a coach, if the guys don't want to be coached, you can't get them there. Um, our, our guys really do want to be pushed and, and coached. Slay, just you guys got to start looking at situations in practice, tag and war situations, offensive rebounds where you guys can go, can go get rebounds. And you guys got to be our leading rebounders. You, you, I just told Mayno, you got to be our leading. And we, that's got to be a difference in our team. Like, when Kyle Lowry was here, we played four guards smaller than you guys. He was our second leading rebounder. He was our five man and him, right? History sometimes creates the best lessons. Look back no further than four years ago for a group that embraced the grind. The 18 team practiced every day to get better, and, and they took it to another level as we got into the NCAA tournament. And it was a credit to their intelligence and their maturity as players because every day as we went through the tournament, they, they kept saying to each other, Let, let's get better tomorrow, let's get better tomorrow. And we did such a good job, the players did, Coach Shaq did, with keeping these guys fresh. We felt like after the Michigan game, we were still fresh enough to keep playing another couple weeks and still smart enough to get better every day if we did. Every other season, by the end, you're kind of exhausted and, and beat down. You're partly glad it's over, but that 18 team wanted to keep going.